Hey everybody, it's me, Karen Buford, Karen Buford Art. I'm here, I'm gonna finish my Buddha, finish the painting part, and then I'm going to try to apply some really cool accents to this piece. So I don't know if I'll do that in this video or if I'll do it in another video, but I just need to finish um, Buddha's hair, this part right here, all this. And this will be done, and um, I don't know that I'm gonna do anything different with it this looks pretty done with me to me so I'm thinking that I'm going to finish this hair and then if I may stop that video and then make another stop this video make another video showing how to um, attach some real flowers I didn't, didn't couldn't find cherry blossoms that I liked um, so it's just gonna be some flowers so um, I'm gonna go ahead and start and for this part I have um, my paint palette. I have uh, burnt sienna, raw sienna, raw umber, burnt umber, Mars black, titanium white, deoxynine purple, and there is something in my paint. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Some, oh, it's probably from my messing around with this setup I have. Deox, uh, sorry, this is um, yellow ochre, uh, yellow cadmium medium red cadmium medium so I'm going to look really carefully and uh, make up his um, just some nice brown so I'll make some nice brown in here take some of my two browns my sienna's and mix those together and get a nice general brown color this is the color that I used and I couldn't use my old palette because it got moldy. It has been forever since I've been on here. So I'll take some, a um, little bit of this unbleached titanium and mix up a lighter color. And this is a nice warm milky brown. And I'm gonna add a little bit more of the sienna, I mean the raw umber so that it's kind of grayed out a little. Not quite so dark. And then I'm gonna come in here and start making circles. And then I'll add some highlights on here too. So I just wanted to add a few little circles. I hate to cover up my little cool bokeh, but it is what it is. Gotta do that. Gotta do what you gotta do. And I'll put some on this side, too. Um, so, I'll just make some circles. There'll be some dark areas in between. Not much to do on this. Not a lot. There's some, but not a lot. Now, I don't really want this in here, so I'm going to trace the outline of his head and take some brown, some darker brown, and then just go in there. And then I think I'll mix up some darker brown with my two browns and a little black to make that really dark. Right in here, make it really dark. And then I'll go over his um, hairline a little bit like this. So I'm gonna go between, so I have, some, I have like a little base of color there. some brown, dark brown to this, and then I can add highlights to it later. Because it needs to be really much lighter on the outside, where it meets the background, which is pretty dark. It's about the same color. And then 
I could do another little tiny thing. Okay, and then I'll go back in with some of this. Wow, oh, that's really pretty. Maybe add a little bit. I think I want some yellow ochre in that just to give it a nice highlight, especially on this side is where it's going to have these beautiful So I'm adding some of my medium brown and my yellow ochre in there. Oh, that's right, so that comes back. So I'm just going to generally put in some hair, some of his matchy hair. I don't know what race Buddha was, but most people who have hair like this or African. Okay, and then I'll go into some of this lighter brown, add some yellow to that. Oh yeah, that's coming along nicely. I'm just making these little strokes like this. They kind of remind me of the bokeh. That's kind of what they remind me of. It's the bokeh. I think I want to mix up a little bit more, and I'm not really mixing this yellow, it's just kind of um, in there, like I'm kind of double loading my brush so half of it's yellow and half of it's brown, and then I can get, you know, a nice little area. Too much yellow. I don't know. I don't want to overwork this. I'll give him a little. Oh, I need a smaller brush, but let's see if I can get this in here. Yeah, that's. Okay, and then I'll add some white on that when it dries a little bit. Um, but I'm not doing anything to his face, I don't think. I did kind of want to do something along his nose. I'm going to add some of this red in here. Some more brown. Add a little shallow. I'm just making a general kind of color here. I think his nose is a little crooked, so I'd like to come along this way. And I'll add in some of my dark brown. Let's make a nice, beautiful color. Here we go. And I just want to just try and clean that up a little bit so his nose doesn't look so crooked like he got it broken or something. And then I'll take some of my white and come along. Just use my finger. It doesn't have to be all that. Just to give it a little bit more. That's what I was doing. Let that blend in just a little bit. And I'll just do the same thing. Just want a little blending in that. And then this way I can soften that out. This has a little bit more yellow in it. A little bit more of this um, inline brown here. There we go. Just kind of let that 
fade on out. And I think I'm liking that better than it was. Okay. And put my finger off. And I can go back in in a little bit. Let me clean my brush out. And go back in and add some white to that. I'll plan ahead with my. Ooh, where is my. I rearranged my studio again. Um, and now I'm trying to figure out where my paint dryer is. Oh, it, of course it's on the other side. So I guess y'all get to see the back, my backside while I try and fix this. Try and grab this. Um, let's see. I might be able to lean behind this and do that. Let me try and move this out. You see the camera wiggle. Yeah, when I'm done with this, oh, and this is still plugged in. Cool, it's already it's plugged in. So I just have to turn it on. Let's put this cord here. All right, so let's see. So it's really more gray in here and more brown and red on there, but I didn't exactly paint them the way they did. Can kind of see what it's doing. My two browns, my two umbers, a tiny bit of my raw se or burnt sienna, a little bit of black, and some straight white to gray this down quite a bit. And it's not gray yet. Still looks brown. So you can see me mixing these. You know, I'd love to have a setup like the Earth Sherpa, but right now, hmm, I guess it kind of doesn't matter. I mean, it's not like I'm getting paid money for this. I mean, I get paid money when I sell the Buddhas. So that's the thing. Okay, so this is really dark. And I think what I want to do is take what's on my brush, add a whole lot of white to it, so that it turns into that kind of gray, brown, white color. I don't know if that actually goes with my, well, it's on there. Anyway, I want to take my glue and just make a few kind of U-shapes. Some more up there. Okay, and then let's see if I add some brown in that and that gray. Just mixing some colors. It's really light. Take some of 
this double bond. I'm, I'm just not digging this, how they did this. I'm going to have to do it how I do it. Because I'm not real thrilled with that color. Not totally, no. So I'm going to make the back side first. Add a little bit of this dark color in here. Maybe that's just too too much of a contrast. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So I'm gonna use my baby white and get rid of it. Watch. This pretty much gets rid of almost everything. So I'm just trying to be really careful not to get it in places I don't really want it. I don't like the gray at all. Not at all. So as you can see, because that paint is wet, a lot of that came off. I mean, a lot came off. So now we're down to the original that I did, which I like much better. But now I have to cover that up. I don't like that gray. Not at all. What happened here? Oh, never mind. Alright, let's come back in. Because this is like a statue or something of the Buddha. It's not the Buddha. It's just a statue. Okay. Let's see how we fix this. Cause it's fixable. It's definitely fixable. Just gotta get a baby wipe. My baby wipes are all dried out, but they still work. They work wonders. So, I think I'm going to go back to what I had with the yellow and the brown. I'll add maybe a little bit of red into that so that that's kind of a little bit more orange. So, I'm adding the red, the yellow ochre, the burnt sienna, the raw sienna, the burnt... Yeah, maybe a little raw sienna. It's just like a big old mishmash of colors. Put that in there. So now I have some really nice colors. And then I'll take some of my sienna, I mean my um, unbleached titanium, and make a lighter value. It's looking kind of pinkish. So let's add some yellow to that. Some actual yellow. It's getting to a color I like. It's not there yet. I kind of want it to be. So I'm just going to paint in the background so that. I'll have something to work with. And this is a really nice color. And I can add some other colors on top of it. So let me get the top of this. And the side. Okay. Yeah, okay. Now he looks like he got straight hair. So let's just give him his little curly balls. His curly hair or whatever that is I still don't know what that is that's on his head so I'm mixing my browns together so I have a dark brown uh, with a little tiny bit of red in it 
a medium brown and a light one. So, let's see. I'm going to just go in and go for it. have to let this dry a little before I go on to the next row. Or I might not. It just all depends. So I don't want to add some of this. Put that down. definitely going to want to put some of that a little dark and a little light in there. I'm going to turn my brush over. Okay, I'm kind of liking that. So now I can add some of my dark browns together so that I just have the dark browns. And then I can come in while it's still wet and hit the bottom part of this. to add some lighter color in there. I think what the problem I'm having is that I'm not starting from the back and moving forward. So let me try that. And it does need a little highlight in here, like that. There you go. So you can't just always have darks without lights. Dark on one side, light on the other. There we go. And now you cook on the gas. Now I see. I can see what's happening here. And I want to add some yellow in on this part. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nice. I like that. bit brown, a little bit orange, a little bit yellow, and then I can make it, make some little darker areas. to get too light or too dark. And I know I went back to that light brown 
but I still want to bring in some of Now you can kind of see it, so now I can put in some really dark colors, just on the top. And just use a little slight flick. putting paint on one end of my brush. Okay, and then on this side, I'm going to add some of that white on the bottom. This doesn't work if you don't have thick paint. can even see the white on the, this is the unbleached titanium you can see it on my brush there we go that's what I'm looking for right there look at that right there so that there's that light coming in Put a few of those in here. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Now, now we're cooking. Always remember, work in your own voice. You can have as many references as you want for your artwork, but work in your own voice. Because ultimately, that's what's going to make you happy. And that's what makes people want your work. Because it's your voice. It's how you see it. And you see how I just come back in? my little white light. There we go. Oh, I like that. I do. I really do. <sighs> yeah. I'm definitely digging that. I want to add a tiny bit of red in here. Some of them. Especially on the corners. I do like that it has that orange in there. So I want to add some of that in. Oh, nice. I like that a lot. It's got that little orange fire on there. A little bit of that yellow and red together. It's a nice orange fire. We still have the brown and then I want to add some dark umber on the top. Actually it would probably be on the other side but you know I kind of don't care. I just want there to be a little bit. So 
but it looks a little more 3D. So I'm gonna do the back part and then do the front part. Just, you know, a little flick. I get rid of some of these. I just want to tone them down a little. So that it's light, but it's not totally white. It's just a little too much contrast. Got some lights and dark. It's looking all good. But I do want to add some of that yellow ochre in there. Just a little. Turn that orange down. It's maybe a little too bright. I think I got too bright carried away with that orange. I like it. Just a little too much. This was only supposed to take a couple of minutes, really. Oh yeah, I really like that. Mm -hmm. I haven't cleaned my brush off yet. I want there to be some really good contrast between the first row and the second row. Yeah. A couple more places. Let's see if we can maybe push that row back. Because you can't see light without dark. You can't see light dark without light. At least in art. I don't know about in real life, but in art it's harder to see. So a little on the top here. All right, I think he's done. I think he's done. We'll have to see how he looks when he's dry, but he looks pretty good right there. So I'm going to stop now, let this dry, and I'll come back. i got to get something to eat. When I come back, I'm going to um, put some cool flowers on. So I'll give you guys maybe a little teaser so that you can see what my flowers are, which are, of course, they're way over here on the other side of my studio. But they're going to give it some nice reds to go with those oranges and pinks. So we're going to be adding these cute little flowers. Most of them are backwards, so you can't really see, but they look like that. So those are going to go here, and I have my tree already uh, put together sort of so I'm gonna hot glue it so that it stays and then I'll put um, might use some other kind of uh, glue to that 
But thanks for tuning in and um, tune in for the part six or whatever part this is. Four, five, six, whatever it is. Because this part is finished and technically I could sell it just like that. But I do want to add that little extra something, something, something. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.